And as the lion approaches and attacks from behind, what Blondie would do is, instead of running away, she would in fact run very quickly backwards into the face of the lion. Now if some of these really hard sharp quills happen to go through an eye into the back of the throat, the lion will die almost instantly. That's one way in which to kill lions. The second way, if she was to run backwards into me now, uh, apart from me being, being injured, she would leave six or seven quills in my leg. So if a lion has six or seven quills left around its mouth, and it can't get rid of them, it won't be able to eat, it won't be able to hunt, and therefore it will die from starvation. But the third and most common cause of death to lions in Africa, from uh, Cape Crescent Port Divines and therefore from any other animal, is if you take a look at Blondie especially, it's not so obvious on the other three, if they, if they get up, which I don't think they're going to, because just like an like these animals are nocturnal, but if you take a look at Blondie, you sh she should be pure white, you can probably see quite a bit of brown on the side of her, uh, that's a mixture of mud and feces, she'll actually roll in her own feces, and it makes her quills very dirty, the tip of them are covered in bacteria. And the number one cause of death to lions in Africa is in fact septicemia or blood poisoning. And that is, uh, that is the, the, the reason that more lions die from any other 